today we're going to take a huge risk in Albion Online and we're going to try to get one of these new Black Carleon bunnies. That's right. Uh, these things are super rare at the moment and they're very expensive. So I went ahead and shopped around at different markets and I found the Cottontail egg here in Martlock to be the cheapest at 39 million silver. Now this thing here, you have to grow it in a kennel. It has about a, I think a 20% chance to, to yield a baby. So, um, but I want the mount anyway. That's the thing, right? If I, if I were to buy the mount, like I'll just type Cottontail and then I'll go to buy orders. And you'll see that the mount is being listed around 40 million. So if I just, you know, wait two days, I save 1 million with a chance to get another one. And possibly a chance to get another one after that. But very slim chance. Uh, so I, this is the fourth day of the event and it has 10 more days to go. And the prices aren't budging. Alright, I'll tell you right now that just for the eggs, the buy orders in every city are in the 30 millions. Uh, just for the egg. So it's... Uh, it's not going to go down in price, and my prediction is because these things are so rare and so expensive that once this event's over and these eggs no longer exist until next year, that the mounts themselves will be extremely valuable. And let me tell you why, because these are the only non-combat mounts that have a combat ability that deals damage and is a fear. So the way this works is if there's five players around, you can use a frenzied hop to make someone take damage. It reduces the healing they receive, and it roots them and fears everyone else around them. Very, one of the most powerful regular mount abilities in the game. It's also incredibly fast with a, with a quick gallop and has high HP. This thing is just absolutely broken in terms of mounts. This is the best in slot mount in the entire game for doing, like, uh, faction fighting. I, I doubt you can use this in faction fights. I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably disabled during a faction fight. If not, it will be best in slot for sure. But you know, regardless of faction fighting, for open world chests, in especially yellow zones or even mists, uh, obviously you wouldn't bring this to a mist because that would be way too expensive. But if you get a bunch of guys together and you're all riding this mount and you want to camp a open world chest, you can just bite everyone that's also at the chest without dismounting. And you start the fight at a huge advantage. So we're going to go ahead and buy this egg at 30... Uh, 39 million here, uh, so that's Eerie Cotton Tail, and there we go, 39 million, that is a huge <laughs> purchase, let's see if we regret it. So now I have myself <laughs> the egg, but we have to grow the egg into a bunny. So this is gonna take, uh, what, two days it says, because I don't have premium. If I had premium, I could grow this in one day, but, um... We gotta go ahead and, um, I don't have a kennel, so I need to build a kennel on one of my islands now. And then I, you also have to feed it. It's, it's weird, even though it's an egg, you still have to feed it. So let me go ahead and, uh, get my preparations ready for the kennel. And, uh, let's grab, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll just grab a wild boar. That should be able to carry all the materials needed for a kennel, and I'll be right back. And here we are, I have, uh, deconstructed one of my farms, my herb garden, so I got the materials back for that. And we're going to push H and build ourselves a kennel. I've got the 50 blood oak logs, slate, and 10 ruinite steel bars. And now we have ourselves a kennel. All right. Awesome stuff. And then uh, we just, uh, let's see, we just put the egg in the kennel. It's pretty simple. We're going to hit place. And what's a good one? Where, where do you, which one do you think has the highest chance of a baby? How about near, near the fishes? It'll make it extra hungry. Yes, I, I understand. I don't have premium. All right. Now we have our eerie cottontail egg. It's, um, you know, clearly a locked gate because this thing is absolutely vicious. And it's hungry. It wants some food, okay? It's, um, it, I don't know how, I know it eats meat, so I bought 300 raw chicken. All right, and it ate all of the, it ate 300 raw chicken and it's still hungry. I didn't buy enough raw chicken. <laughs> wow, I gotta go get more food. I'll be right back. A stack of raw chicken is about 340,000 silver, so these things are not cheap. These things are pretty expensive to feed. <laughs> you know, they're they're hungry little rabbits. Okay, so it ate 80 more raw chicken, so it takes 380 raw chicken per day, and it's going to take 44 hours, or it, it's fed for 44 hours, it says. So there we go. It's nice and fed, and now we can nurture it. It's going to cost me 841 focus to nurture this thing. This is why I save my focus when I don't have premium active, so I can spend it on stuff like this if it ever comes up, or for testing purposes. 
So I'm going to go ahead and you can see here that it, uh, it's got the grow time there. Uh, 43 hours, one day, 20, 20 hours. Now this would be halved if I had premium. This would only be like, what, 22 hours or something, okay? Uh, and then we're going to nurture it for 10% yield for it to have its own baby, which means we get the egg back. And here we go, 841 focus for a potential 30 million profit. Not bad. And we get to do this again tomorrow, so this will be a 20% tomorrow. And we have to feed it again tomorrow, of course. So, um, that's pretty much it for now. We just gotta let it set and do its thing, and hopefully we get a baby. If not, I still get the little mount. And yes, you, you just take it to a kennel, you give it 20 of the leather, and it's fine. Now, another thing too, I want to mention that I am not a master of raising animals at all on this character. I don't have a character that is. You can see here that my animal breeding is only level 25, which is, it unlocks only tier 5 creatures. So a lot of people, including myself, I was wondering, do I need level 100? Because level 100 is all the tier 8 animals, right? And this egg is technically a tier 8 animal, but from what I read on Reddit, there was brand new players that happened to just find this egg, and they were able to breed and raise it, so... I figured that they didn't need level 100, you know, animal breeding to do this. And a good thing, too. And now all there is that's left to do is wait until tomorrow, and I will feed it some more raw chicken, and then we'll see if we get a baby out of it. Also, if you're curious, the regular spring cottontail only has about 800 health, and it has the same movement speed, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't have a combat ability. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's way weaker. It has been two days, real lifetime. I got a referral reward, 500 gold added. Thank you very much for whoever decided to buy premium and use my referral link. Very cool indeed. So let's go pick up uh, our, look at it. It's all grown up. He's running around the cage. And um, yeah, he's uh, he's a big boy now. So let's see if he had any babies. This is the big moment, 10% chance. He did not. I mean, did you really expect? <laughs> It's only a 10% chance. I thought you had to feed it twice and nurture it twice, but no, you just feed it the one time and you nurture it the one time and that's it. So now, uh, there we go. We got 100 fame for that. And now we have the tame Sierra Leone Cottontail. This thing is worth 45 million. I only paid 40 million for the egg. So I actually, have, I've already made 5 million, right? Uh, but I definitely want to keep this mount. I'm, it's not a mount yet. We have to saddle it. And to saddle it, we're going to need a saddler. There's one. That is so overpriced. I don't have a tier 8 saddler on any of my islands. I'm going to have to pay the premium. I need a tier 8 saddler, too, because I'm pretty sure I need a tier 8 saddler. We'll find that part out. Let's go get ourselves 20 tier 8 leather. That's also another price. Another uh, upfront cost. So I need leather, and then tier 8, and I need 20 of these boys. And that's going to run me 737 thousand silver we're gonna make some of that back maybe depending on uh how much it uh costs uh in both uh focus and the crafting fee so first off let's just go to a tier seven and see if it'll let me do it there because i'm curious i don't know why people would ha not have a tier eight saddler but they're kind of losing business uh other than that uh msj has got one for 6k 5.8k is the cheapest i'm just gonna go here and just to see if it'll let me do it I think you probably need a tier 8 saddler, but who knows? Let's find out. Need a hand with your mount? It's, um, it would appear that you do. So, uh, <laughs> at least it's not showing up here. So let's go to a tier 8 one. We got, uh, Kelter, Kelter down in the bottom. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna go to the cheapest one. This Imus, what are they talking about me in the chat? And then me and Soul Benji come through, what? Okay. Dude, they're always talking about me in the win the game chat, man. It's, uh... <laughs> I, I just randomly glanced down there and I see my name. It's like, bro. I get it. I make YouTube videos, man. I'm just a regular guy like everyone else, man. I'm not... I'm not some kind of special in-game character or anything. I'm just... I'm just a regular player like everybody else, man. <laughs> okay, let's go down here to Kelter. Got the cheapest one at 5.8 thousand. Hopefully this thing isn't a, a bajillion dollars to saddle, but we'll see. And I'm going in the wrong side there. Okay. Sensational creatures. So we'll go here, and there it is. 20 leather. It's going to cost me 33,000 to saddle it. Focus, it's 10, uh-uh. 10,000 focus, and I get back 30% of 20, which would be like 6. 
Bro, that's that's robbery right there. Uh, so that's only a 183k back. 183k for 10,000 focus? No, that's a terrible deal. Do not use focus on this. And let's craft them out. There we go. And uh, let's see. We uh, we have a good quality heirloom cottontail. That's not good enough for me. We're gonna go ahead and go to a repair shop and increase the qual quality to excellent. I'm not going Masterpiece, there is someone out there that has a Masterpiece, one of these. Edit Assault in 15 minutes. Yeah, like I'm gonna bring this mount to that. So, let's go ahead and increase the quality now, and then we're gonna ride this bad boy into battle and try out its ability. I'm excited. And here we go, let's... Hopefully this doesn't cost too much to upgrade, but let's see. So, reroll quality. Boom, it's 26,000 for the first. Uh, re-roll. Re Alright, 133, we we got it already. So we can pay 133,000 for a chance at Masterpiece. I'm not gonna do that, that's a silly gamble. But here we are. Um, I'm unfortunately overweight with the boar, so I need to go put stuff back. Let me just sell this leather, and I'm gonna go ahead and go get some gear, and uh, we're gonna ride out and, and do some fighting. The first thing I want to point out is that this mount has a lot of weight. This is a 179 kilogram bunny. This thing is is hefty. All right, to compare, the bear, a grizzly bear, is only 80 kilograms. A husky is 80 kilograms. The Avalonian basilisk, literally a dragon, is 80 kilograms. Even, uh, like, the winter bear, 120 kilograms. The wild boar, 120 kilograms. The Morgana nightmare is 179 kilograms, okay? So it, this thing is equivalent to a, a, a hellfire horse. What about a mammoth? A mammoth is lighter weight than this Carleone Cottontail. This thing is a beefy boy. He is chunky. All right, let's take a look at him first before we do anything. So here he is. He's got a scar already on his face. I mean, I raised him right, but he turned out to be a little punk. He's got tape around his ear. This thing has red eyes. This thing is pure evil. So the first thing I want to notice that it, I am currently faction flagged, and I am allowed to use the Rabbit Frenzy ability. So that is really cool. What if I just cast that now? Alright, so uh, nothing happened, and uh, oh, his eyes are glowing. Check that out. That's neat. He's also foaming at the mouth. That's pretty scary, isn't it? A uh, very, very evil bunny. <laughs> Let's go. Well, since we're faction flagged, and we can use this as faction flagged, which is insane. Let's just go dive a blob. I mean, I've got a little build here that should keep me alive. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, we've got someone attacking a Bridgewatch outpost, and hopefully there's at least five people, or this bunny will not bite. It has to... I guess it just gets agitated from all the people around it, but it is an outpost under attack. It could be someone soloing it. I don't know, but I'm hoping there's at least five people. We're about to find out. We're gonna hopefully not get our mount instantly destroyed, and, um, well, there's definitely five... four? There's only... There, there are five people, but they need to be clustered together. So I need them to uh, to get nice and stacked. <laughs> Come on, guys, stack up for me. <laughs> There's only five. I could probably take them on, actually. But yeah, they seem to be attacking me a little bit. Or are they running? Oh, come on, man. Let me try out this mount. This mount seems interesting. Yes, everyone, stack up on the boss. <laughs> All right, so we got we got three or four here. Okay, there we go. Maybe we got five. Let's try it. And I'm dismounted, so... I'm gonna eat a sandwich here. <laughs> go ahead. I, I guess I'm just PvPing right now. Uh, there's not enough people here to really... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh no, I'm being hurt. Alien jacket to the rescue. And throw that, and then we can just maybe run away, drink a potion. And, uh, I should have been using, using Reflect. I just woke up, so, uh, let's see. Oh, they're getting me. <laughs> so, I took, I took some of them down, it looks like. Oh, we got another guy here, but he's not faction like so I'm downed, but that's fine. We need five targets or the bunny won't attack. But hey, I got a few people. Now, I did want to die for a specific reason, and that is because I want to see how much this thing costs to repair when downed. This bunny only costs 4,000 uh, silver when you are downed in yellow zone PvP. So that's good to know. Of course, my set is worth, well, I'm in tier 8.3. Some of a masterpiece. 
So yeah, it's pretty pricey to repair 155k, but hey, you know, we have to pay the toll for science. I needed to know this information, and you need to know this information if you ever decide to use this mount. Well, while out and about, I managed to rob a, uh, a <laughs> yellow zone chest here, got a tier 8 assassin jacket, and a boss! Alright, it's looking up. So interesting enough, I can kind of tag players even if they're mounted, even if there's not five people around. Uh, this guy witnessed something terrifying whenever I use the rabbit frenzy. So what I'm wondering is if that counts as a player tag, so if this guy goes out and dies in Faction Warfare later, if I get credit for that. I have no idea. Further testing is necessary. Even more interesting is I can tag players even if they have a spawn shield, so they're still witness something terrifying, even though this guy had a complete shield and he just left Martlock. So that's real interesting. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, it's a good chase mount too, but um, I don't have a way to like really chase that hard. I don't know why he's running to the base. I'm not, like, going to attack or anything. Also, this only works on players. When I use it on NPCs, nothing really happens. It's not like I can attack them or anything. They don't get the debuff, so... Yeah, only on players. There is not a lot of action right now, so it's hard to get some footage, but maybe whoever's attacking Outpost 3 up here, there's at least five people. We can only hope. I think it's the same group of people, though. Or it's just one... It's just... Yeah, it's just a couple people soloing. Oh, no. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, good stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to just kill this dude pretty easy. Oh no, he's got the druid, ro or the druid something. Well, that guy's also gonna die. <laughs> oh no. I can just reflect that. I'm the same build as him. <laughs> well, that was an easy kill. Yeah, well, he's not as geared as me, but still. Where'd the other guy go? I need at least five people, dang it. Whoa, now, this guy is, he's got a dirty build. Look at this. Forge hammers and stalker jacket. What a combo. This guy is not to be trifled with. Good thing he's on the bridge watch's side. I really like this guy's build. He's at 5,253 HP. This dude is insane. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of activity right now. It is six in the morning UTC, so I'm gonna just try again later when there's more players running around. Alright, there's gotta be people at this chest. It is literally right outside of Limhurst. I'm Fort or I'm Bridge Watch flagged. There's gotta be people here. At least five. Let's go. That's four. And I'm getting shot. I need five. I, I need five people, dang it. Let's see. Is that five? That is not five. Oh man, come on. Alright, now's my chance. Okay, it doesn't appear to work against mounted targets. Also, I checked earlier, and if I just use the Rabbit Frenzy on a player and they get this little fear debuff, if they do get killed by another player in Faction PvP, I do not get points for it. So I can't use this to tag anyone. We've got another chest, this time uh, right here. And uh, let's, see, let's give it like five more seconds so that the PvP thing activates for everybody. And... I don't know if they're Limhurst flagged or just regular PvP flagged, but we're just going to run in, we're going to cast our spell, uh, and we're going to try to tag as many people as possible and use the Frenzied op ability, hopefully, finally. There's a lot of people here, so let's just get right in the middle of it and cast it. There we go. Do I have Frenzied hop? I, I don't. I don't know why. It's, uh, it, it didn't seem to work, but um, maybe <laughs> I'll have enough uh, of cooldowns to be able to cast it, because there's a lot of action going on here. People are getting torn up. So, uh, I, again, I don't know what's ha what's happening. Maybe it just doesn't work, or it's not working because I'm faction flagged? I don't know, but there's still at least five people here in this cluster, so I'm kind of hoping, you know, maybe I can get it now? Nope, okay, so yeah, nothing happened there. And I know my hop spill is on cooldown, but still, this is a bloodbath. <laughs> there is so much just action going on over this chest. <laughs> just let everyone kill each other and then I'll clean up maybe or maybe not you never know still, still a lot of fighting going on here all right we get another chance here in just a sec everyone's dismounted there's plenty of people running around I want at least five though I'm gonna let my hop get off cooldown there we go it's, a, it's uh it's still just the regular hop ability so I can probably fight most of these guys like that one's down. Fight this guy. 
We got a lot of action going on here. <laughs> Is someone trying to open the chest? Possibly? Yep. Okay, can't let him open it. <laughs> Alright, I am the only bridge watch person. This is outside of Limhurst, by the way. These guys can open the chest with bubble? Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know they could do that. That's wild. Maybe I can open the chest and I can sneak it. Let's see, are they gonna let me do it? Got that guy down. I'm actually pretty hurt here, so I gotta watch out what I'm doing. Get a few more targets nearby. And uh, let's regenerate from them. Alright, this this is an 8.4 player here, so um, he's my... Uh, <laughs> I can't stand too still. And we got the Reflect on. I think I could take him. And there we go, throw the axe, got him. That's an 8.4 down. And is someone at... someone's opening. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't let him open. I don't know if he got that or not. It looks like he did, because he's not fighting back. Well, oh, he went in biz. What a sneaky boy. Now I'm going to grab the whatever, whatever's in here, unless they tag me in time. Yoink, 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 yoink. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, I'm so close to dying. <laughs> We've got to heal. Dang, man. This is a this is a rough chest to, to compete over. This is turned from a mount video into a PvP vid. All right, we'll just clean up here, finish grabbing all this. Now, I was told if you leave one thing in the chest, they can't stand up. Okay, <laughs> dagger user wants to play. <laughs> oh, he, dude, that's so funny. Yeah, I'm not grabbing the last thing in the chest, so they can all have their. Uh... <laughs> they can all <laughs> sit there for ten minutes. Well, I'm not- I don't know what's going on. I, I'm guessing I just can't do this when I'm faction flagged, so this is going to be really hard to test. So now I'm going to do experiments without being faction flagged, and this is my plan. I'm just going to faction- or I'm just going to PvP flag, and when there's at least five people around this chest, I should be able to just run in and have the bunny start tearing people up. Hopefully that works. Well, I literally could not find a situation to use this in the actual game, so I asked my Discord, and I've got some bros here, and we're ready to do some testing. So first off is... If I'm hostile and they're not, if I use this and they're mounted, will it let me do it? Uh, there we go. Yes, it will. So, um, that did no damage. That did no damage at all. Okay, well, we're going to try that again. So, we're going to try it again. Okay, so, we're going to activate this. Let's look at the tooltip. It says, frenzied hop, blah, blah, blah. I'll have to pause the video. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it does not hurt mounted players at all. Weird. Now we're doing the test with everyone dismounted. I'm going to attack the naked player first. So here we go. We're frenzied. We're attacking the naked player. And, um, well, they're probably downed. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, so we know we can kill a naked with this. That's interesting. Okay. So this test, we're going to attack Apocalypse here. One of the Discord Chaz. He's got a 5-2 Druid Robe. We're going to see how much damage he sustains. So here we go. Frenzied is activated. And we're going to bite him. And it's barely... That did not hurt at all. That did 110 per tick. That did 20% of his life. And I'm not dismounted. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the wildlife is fighting back. <laughs> you gotta just... Might as well just kill him all real quick. All right. <laughs> oh. Well, gotta wait another two minutes. The next test is without Moizak, so we're going to see if it still deals 110 tick damage. It does 90. So we know Moizak and Crypt Candle will increase the damage. Awesome. Good to know, uh, although it's not really dealing that much damage. This dealt a little under 400 damage to Apocalypse here, and again, he's in cloth, so leather and plate are going to take even less damage. Okay, so the next test we're going to do is to see if you can avoid this entirely. Uh, wait, what the heck? That's one, two, three, four. Did someone log out? I think someone logged out. All right, here we go with the test. I'm going to howl. Apocalypse is going to run away from me, and then I'm going to try to pounce on a running target. All right, and he's going to use boots, and yeah, it just completely whiffs. It, um, <laughs> it's, um, let's do that again. 
All right, and the next test, I'm going to, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to howl. He's going to run, and he's going to run. He's running, and there we go. We, we got him. So you have to aim it. It's like a skill shot, kind of. And uh, he's taking 127 damage now, which he took 110 the first time. I don't know why he's taking more damage this time. So that's a little weird. It's not really consistent. Odd. And finally, the range test. We're going to see how far away I can I can tag people with this. So we're they're pretty far away, so let's see if it works. And it does. Oh, man. Um, that's interesting. We gotta We got to test this again. All right, now we're going to see if this range works or not. There is uh, quite a number of people around me, but let's see. That did not work. Okay, so we got a good estimate of the range. So here's a summary of everything we learned, all right? The Rabbit Frenzy ability, which is this. It's a big circle. It's actually much bigger than shown on screen. Uh, but it's not your entire screen. Screen. I can't talk. Screen length. All right. It was able to hit the target down here towards the bottom of my screen, but not all the way to the left and right of my screens or diagonally, unfortunately. But it is a pretty big radius. We also know that um, we cannot use the bite on a mounted target. We know that we can't use the we can't even trigger the bite at all if we are faction flagged. You have to be non faction flagged, even if you're fighting over a, an, an open world chest and you are faction flagged and everyone else is PvP flagged, it still will not work. So you can only do this when you are not faction flagged. Um, and then secondly, we know about how much damage we're doing now. I'm using an 8.4 Moizak. With a Crypt Candle you can deal a little bit more, but we attacked a Cloth Target 5.2 and it dealt 130 per tick. So it, it deals about 4, four to 500 damage on Cloth. It completely kills a Naked player, um, 1,200 plus damage. Uh, of course, naked players die to pretty much everything. So, it's uh, it's just interesting. Uh, hopefully, this educated you better on how this works. And I don't know if this guy thinks he can fight me or what's going on. He's just kind of hanging out. But, um, there you go. That is the Caroleone Cottontail. And, um, if anyone is interested in buying this off of me, it is crafted by me. It has my name, my signature. These things are currently, as of recording, worth 40 million. If uh, it, I'm going to want a little bit more than 40 million, but um, I don't know. Contact me. Let me know in the comments if you want to buy it from me and how much you're willing to offer. Uh, because honestly, I don't think this thing is useful for the, what I do in this game. This is just a, I mean, it's a cool mount. It's got lots of HP. It moves fast. It's got a fast gallop. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a badass mount. It's, you know, a rebel without a cause. But it's not something that I use because I only really do the faction fighting. And because this does not work when faction fighting, I have no real practical use for it. But that is the video. Um, I, I've looked all over at other YouTube channels and not a single person has done a video like this on this mount. I don't know if they can't afford it or they're just, they just don't want to do the, the research or what. But there we go. I appreciate everyone in my Discord that participated with helping me test this. Um, I was, I did give out Chad, uh, rank ups for those that helped out, uh, so now they're part of the, uh, you know, the Chad gamers. With that said, though, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me, click the join button down below, um, and also, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, and I'll see you there. Take care.